we're going to explore one of the main advantages of using components over groups. A very quick introduction though, when I create an object, I can either make it a component or make it a group. At a very basic level, they both put a arrangement of geometry into a box that could be more easily edited and manipulated without interrupting and interfering with its context. A group, however, is really just a container. There's not much else you can do with it. When you turn something into a component, not only can you add more information to it, but when you make copies of it, each copy of that component then follows along with whatever's happening in any of the other versions or copies of that component. So this makes components very useful for when you ever need more than one of something in a model. But what if you want to use a component not only in the same project multiple times, but perhaps across multiple projects multiple times? Well, that's also very easy to do. So what you do is you right click on any component and then go save as. It's usually a good idea to create a location where you're going to save all of your components. This basically becomes your component library and then click save. If I go ahead and open a new project, what I want to do here is import that component. So I will navigate to the folder location where that component was saved, left click hold, drag it into the model space and release. And now it's been imported into that new project. But what about updating changes across all of these components in all these different projects? I'm gonna minimize this and I'm gonna open up this component what I want to do is I want to convert this pillar or column into a component because I want it to be reflected on the other side. So this is just a group. So I'll delete this, make this a component and create. I'll then use this sketch plus extension to mirror this object. And then I'm going to add some filleting to these edges using Fredo round corner. So I'll select this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. And circle radius, let's go for a six segment circle, radius 30. That should probably be fine and I'm happy with that, so I'll generate that geometry and exit the tool. Notice, obviously, because that's a component, just as we've discussed, that's now reflected on the other side as well. Leaving the component, all I need to do now is right-click onto this object, go Save As, and replace the original. Now what happens when I open the original project? Notice the original project still contains the original geometry. All I need to do is right click onto one of those components, go reload, select the new version and press open. And notice across the board, they'll all be replaced. So that's a very easy way to start creating your own library of components. And because components that are saved are just SketchUp files, they can of course be shared with anyone or they can be saved on a shared drive, which can then be distributed across your organization. Now, if you wanna take this to the next level and start using SketchUp in a parallel contributor environment, or you just wanna be able to share content more easily with colleagues across multiple locations, you should check out our video on leveraging externally referenced content from Trimble Connect.